Do you think a documentary filmmaker should have 100% creative control? Mm. You talked about earlier this person, Matt, in your film, mm -hmm. and the mom watched it and she was delighted because that was Matt, raw, right. that was him. Right. But there gets to be a time when certain subjects, mm -hmm. well-meaning, well-intentioned, don't like certain things that are said, don't mm -hmm. like the yeah. way they look, don't like the way they're portrayed. Yeah. In the end, what do you, or in the beginning probably, what are your boundaries? What do you tell them? Yeah, no, it's a really, it's a great question. I feel very strongly that the filmmaker or filmmakers really have to have the final cut in the film, and for a lot of reasons. Um, it's really hard to make one of these with a committee. It, you're gonna, I mean, you can do it, but I think you're gonna end up with something that's, that's really watered down and not very good. So I think having a really clear vision, who's telling this story and how do they want to tell the story is, is really, really important. And we always demand final cut with our films, uh, you know, of our partners and our subjects. And we will not do a film unless we have that. Um, but that said, the kinds of films that we tell, you know, I'm, I'm, I would not, I don't consider myself an investigative journalist, for example. Um, I'm not typically trying to uncover deceitful activity or um, catch people in a lie or catch people doing things that they shouldn't be doing. We, we tend to, the stories we tend to tell um, are not like that. That's not the kind of stories we're drawn to. Um, um, but we do invite feedback from our subjects. Um, we do want to know, first of all, if the story is accurate and if we've made any mistakes or factual mistakes. And also, you know what? In order to get 100% trust and confidence from your subjects while you're making your film, I think they need to know that they could raise a red flag before the film gets released. There may be something that we've captured that we didn't even realize we had captured, that for whatever reason to them, it would be very painful if that got out or would create a real problem for them. And we have taken feedback from people. And you know, there are many cases where we have allowed that sort of input to affect our final cut. But all that aside, um, we are not, we don't, we don't do puff pieces and we don't do like PR films. I mean, we do films that try to capture the real story. In If You Build It, for instance, Emily and Matt, who are the two teachers that are in the film, I mean, they went through a really difficult time together. They were not getting along that well together. Um, there were some people in the town, especially the school board, that were very unsupportive. All of that is in the film. Um, and, and, you know, no one who's familiar with the story thinks that we tried to gloss it over. I mean, there's a lot of conflict in the film. Um, so, you know, if someone says to me, I don't like how I look there, I, I don't like what I said there, if, it's, if it rings true to us, and there isn't a real compelling reason not to include it, we, we leave it in the film. And I, I have to say, we've had really great relationships with the people we've worked with. Um, all the way down the line. I mean, like Will Shorts from Wordplay, um, David Walker, the Comptroller General of the United States, who we, we did IOUSA with, Matt and Emily and the students from If You Build It. I mean, those people are all, I think they're all really proud of the films that we made about them because they're accurate and they're really compelling and they're even entertaining. So um, I think that's important. Now, if you're let's say you're Michael Moore or any other, any number of invest Alex Gibney, um, any number of Joe Berlinger uh, of, of investigative journalists, that's probably, that's not going to be the case because they're uncovering a lot of things that make people look bad. And I mean, they're good at doing that and they're doing it for, for all the right reasons. Mm. So obviously they probably play by a different set of rules. And I think we would probably play by a much different set of rules when we decide to tell a story like that, um, uh, which I'm sure we'll do at some point in the future. 
So what's your talk like with these people, or is it in a contract? I mean, how do you lay those ground rules out, probably from the beginning, right? Because yeah. Because you really I mean, want to get off on that right foot. Yeah. No, I, you know, I really try to stay away from contracts Makes and a lot scared. of legal documentation. I mean, that, that right away gets people um, suspicious, like, what am I, what am I getting into here? Um, we just talk to people. We look them in the eye and we tell them, this is what we're going to do. We find you, we think you're really interesting. We think you have a great story. We want to make a film about you. Um, it's a film that we're going to make about you. We value your input. We'll certainly listen to your input. But at the end of the day, it's our movie that we're making about you. And and if you if you don't want to go along on the ride, then tell us now. Um, Again, I think the easiest thing, at least for us, is people look at our work and they know that we don't, we don't throw people under the bus if, unless they deserve it. Um, the people of the school board of Bertie County, North Carolina, comes off looking pretty bad in our film, and rightly so. In fact, I think some people, some people have told us that we maybe let them off a little, easy, a little too easily. Um, but um, yeah, we... we you, you, you know, if you're going to spend a year or two with someone and you're going to devote a big part of your life to telling their story and you're also going to take their story and bring it to a really wide audience, I mean, that's, that's a pretty important conversation that you have to have and you have to really develop some trust between each other that you're going to do this together and that it'll be something that you'll, you'll all be proud of when it's all done.